In last few years, we heard many theories about the end of life on Earth. It could be because of things like tsunamis, nuclear bombs, or pandemics. This makes us realize that any day could be the last day for our planet. If that happens, some folks might have a chance to live on a space station or another planet. But here's the thing, there won't be enough room for everyone, and the government will have to choose only a few people because of limited resources and space on the spaceships. So, which professional do you think will be picked first? And, on the flip side, who do you think will be the last ones to get a seat on a spaceship? We think YouTubers, fashionistas, and professional gamers may be the least important professionals in this scenario. Firstly, we'll talk about the most crucial professionals in this situation and then look at the least important ones. Please feel free to jump to chapter 11 if you are interested in the second part only. On this note, let's start. On top of the list will always be politicians and billionaires. Surprised? Whether you like it or not, but politicians and billionaires will make their way to spacecraft in case Earth dies. Politicians will make their way by using their power and convincing skills. While billionaires, especially the ones with resources in the spacecraft field will enroll themselves and their friends in. Second important humans will be medical professionals. The health and well-being of the crew take precedence. Medical professionals, including doctors, nurses, and medical researchers, would be at the top of the list. Their expertise is vital for addressing any health issues during the mission and ensuring the overall physical and mental wellness of the crew. Third most important humans will be astronauts. With a limited time frame, astronauts come next in priority. These individuals are trained to navigate and operate spacecraft, manage systems, and conduct essential tasks in the challenging conditions of space. Their skills are critical for piloting the spacecraft and ensuring the success of the mission. Fourth most important humans will be engineers and technicians. To maintain the functionality of the spacecraft, engineers and technicians are indispensable. They would work on repairing and fine-tuning the spacecraft systems throughout the journey, guaranteeing that all components operate optimally and addressing any technical challenges that may arise. Fifth most important humans will be security and defense personnel. While the primary goal of a space mission is exploration or survival, ensuring the security and defense of the spacecraft and its crew could become crucial in certain situations. Military personnel may bring expertise in handling potential threats or emergencies. Sixth most important humans will be energy specialists. Ensuring a sustainable energy source for the spacecraft is crucial for the mission's success. Energy specialists would focus on developing efficient and renewable energy systems to power the spacecraft, providing the necessary resources for the journey. Seventh most important humans will be agricultural experts. Securing a sustainable source of food is imperative for the crew's survival. Agricultural experts would be tasked with developing innovative methods for growing crops in the limited space and resources available on the spacecraft, ensuring a continuous and reliable food supply. Eighth most important humans will be biologists and ecologists. Preserving biodiversity and creating a self-sustaining ecosystem within the spacecraft is essential for long-term survival. Biologists and ecologists would contribute their expertise to bring seeds, plants, and small animals on board establishing a balanced and thriving mini-ecosystem in space. Ninth most important humans will be psychologists and social workers. Addressing the psychological well-being of the crew is a consideration for the mission's success. Psychologists and social workers would play a supporting role, helping the crew cope with the stress, isolation, and emotional challenges associated with extended space travel. As we saw, most of the key roles belong to scientists, engineers, doctors, and security personnel. But, there would be some profession which would be the last choice for government. The top entry on the lower tier is reserved for social media influencers. Yes, you heard it right. In the urgent context of Earth's demise, the ability to create online trends and engage with social media audiences may be considered less critical. While YouTubers excel in producing high-quality content, their involvement in spacecraft matters will be very limited. Mr. Beast creating a video about a £1 to £1 billion instrument on a spacecraft might not be particularly beneficial. Additionally, certain foolish actions by YouTubers seeking more likes could potentially lead to chaos. It could be argued that some YouTubers produce educational and survival content. However, priority will be given to professionals in those specific fields. The second place on the lower tier goes to fashionistas. 
While we all love to stay stylish, it seems that the intergalactic runway might have to wait. Packing up closets full of clothes and accessories isn't exactly practical when you're headed to an unknown destination in space. Sorry, fashionistas. Your couture dreams might need to stay grounded. The third place on the lower tier goes to professional gamers. High scores are cool, but space requires know-how beyond gaming skills. The limited resources and challenges of space travel may necessitate prioritizing individuals with knowledge and training in fields crucial for adapting to the extraterrestrial environment. Professional tour guides, navigating earthly landmarks takes a backseat when the focus turns to exploring the uncharted territories of space. Tour guides might need to adapt their expertise to the cosmic journey. The fifth place on the lower tier goes to sports commentators. The excitement of traditional sports commentary may not find its place in the altered dynamics of space sports. The focus might shift to individuals with skills adaptable to the challenges of zero gravity. Luxury travel agents, crafting dream vacations is a delightful skill, but the expertise required for navigating the cosmos necessitates a different set of knowledge and adaptability. The seventh place on the lower tier goes to personal shoppers. Retail therapy is enjoyable, but shopping sprees may not be possible in space. Resources will be limited to shop or sell. Interior decorators, adorning living spaces becomes a secondary concern when practicality takes precedence in creating functional spacecraft environments. The ninth place in the lower tier goes to professional athletes. Athleticism is admirable, but the physical demands and adaptations required for space travel might differ significantly from traditional sports activities. Film critics, critiquing movies are entertaining, but in space, the real show is the cosmic drama outside the window. Film critics might need to become stargazers for this celestial journey. The 11th place in the lower tier goes to event photographers. Capturing moments is a valuable skill, but in the limited space of a spaceship, photographers might not be that useful. Weather reporters, forecasting earthly weather is interesting, but in the vastness of space, every day brings cosmic conditions. Weather reporters might need a telescope instead of a rain gauge. The 13th place on the lower tier goes to rock, paper, scissors champions. While the game may settle disputes here on Earth, the government is likely to prioritize individuals with skills relevant to the unique challenges of space travel. The 14th place on the lower tier goes to professional Netflix bingers. As much as we love a good binge watch, streaming services might not make the cut in the limited resources of a spacecraft. Sorry, professional Netflix bingers, it's time to put that remote down and prepare for a different kind of entertainment among the stars. The 15th place on the lower tier goes to ice cream tasters. As much as we adore our favorite flavors, being an ice cream taster might not be the most critical skill in the vastness of space. The logistics of keeping those beloved tubs frozen in zero gravity. It's a rocky road we're not ready to travel. The 16th place on the lower tier goes to professional bed testers. A dream job for many, but in space, the concept of a comfy bed might be a little different. With floating sleeping bags and limited personal space, the skills of a professional bed tester might not be at the top of the list for space-bound occupations. The 17th place on the lower tier goes to professional clowns. Laughter is undoubtedly important, but in a life or death situation, the government may prioritize individuals with skills directly contributing to the survival of humanity. Professional clowns, while entertaining, might not be the ideal space companions. The 18th place on the lower tier goes to sandcastle architects. Building sandcastles is a beachside joy, but it would be hard to find sand in space. Even if it is available for growing plants, sand art will not achieve much. The 19th place on the lower tier goes to professional nappers. While napping is a cherished pastime, the government is likely to prioritize those with skills contributing to the overall well-being and survival of the human population. Professional nappers may find themselves lower on the space travel priority list. The 20th place on the lower tier goes to jigsaw puzzle masters. Though solving jigsaw puzzles showcases problem-solving abilities, the government might lean towards individuals with practical and adaptable skills more suited to the challenges of space exploration. The 21st place on the lower tier goes to synchronized swimmers. The grace of synchronized swimming may be captivating, but it would be hard to build pools on a spacecraft. Even water for the shower will be a luxury to have. The 22nd place in the lower tier goes to professional chess players. Strategic thinking is valuable, 
but for a space mission, the government may seek individuals with a diverse skill set. While chess players demonstrate intelligence and strategy, space exploration requires a broader range of competencies. The 23rd place on the lower tier goes to extreme Jenga players. Balancing wooden blocks might not be as relevant in a gravity-free environment, placing extreme Jenga players lower on the priority list. The government would likely prioritize skills crucial to adapting to space challenges. The 24th place on the lower tier goes to professional hacky sack players. While nimble footwork is admirable, the government is more likely to select individuals with a range of practical skills over professional hacky sack players for a space voyage. The 25th place on the lower tier goes to origami masters. Crafting intricate paper creations is an art, but the practicality of origami may not be a top consideration when selecting occupants for a spacecraft on a time-sensitive mission. The 26th place on the lower tier goes to extreme hula hoopers. Impressive as it may be, the skill of extreme hula hooping might not be a deciding factor for securing a seat on a spacecraft facing the unknowns of outer space. The 27th place on the lower tier goes to professional tiddlywinks players. Precision in tiddlywinks is an acquired skill, but it might not be high on the list of priorities when selecting individuals for a space mission where adaptability is crucial. The 28th place on the lower tier goes to yo-yo masters. Yo-yo mastery requires skill, but it may not be the skill set the government prioritizes when deciding who to send on a life-saving space mission. The 29th place on the lower tier goes to mime artists. Silent communication is an art form, but their contribution in space will be limited. The 30th place on the lower tier goes to Sudoku champions. While Sudoku champions exhibit logical prowess, the government may opt for individuals with a diverse skill set better suited to the unpredictable environment of space. While all these jobs play a role in our daily lives, the space voyage prioritizes skills that are vital for survival. So, if you're a professional YouTuber or an ice cream taster, it might be time to explore some new career options, ones that are more suited for the final frontier. Safe travels, space pioneers. Please, take a look at our video talking about why people want to live forever and are crazy about the elixir of eternal life. We'll go back to ancient China and then see how big companies like Google, PayPal, and Amazon are still working on this idea today. Please like, share and subscribe.